Hi guys, welcome. Today we are going to discuss regarding how to deploy Azure virtual machines in availability set. What is an availability set? Is a concept within a data center. This ensures that at least one of the virtual machines hosted on Azure will be available if something happens to other virtual machines. Availability set con offers 99.95% of service level agreement. If we are configuring an availability set in our Azure portal, main thing we want to know regarding two terms, fault domain as well as an updated domain. What is a fault domain? is the group of virtual machines that share a common power source and network switch. You can consider fault domain as a network server rack. In the rack, we will have number of servers, one switch, power plug, everything will be there. If power failure will happen, our virtual machine in that server rack, it will not be available. That means, it will not be available. So in availability set minimum, we are creating three fault domains. If any server rack will be down, but the virtual machines, it should be available in other server racks. The next thing we want to know regarding update domain. Update domain means that uh, if any server, if one server is going to update, at the time server will be restart. If we are not adding the server uh, service in these update domains, it will restart in restarting time. We will not get any application running on the on that server. But if we are creating the virtual machines on another update domains, so if one of the virtual machine, if it will be update, the same application it will be run on another update domains. So the virtual machine will be available. We can go to the picture. Yeah, here I am creating three fault domains and five update domains. Three fault domains means that first fault domain, this is a server rack. Second fault domain, this one server rack. Then this is a third fault domain. So there is three fault domains are there. Then five update domains. I mentioned in availability set that I need five update domains. Then one, two, three, four, five. That means every area it should be, it should be like this way. If I will create five virtual machine, I'm going to create one virtual machine one, VM1. The VM1, it will go how you know, it will come to first one, it will come to first fault domain one, and one up first update domain one, it will come here. Then second uh, virtual machine, if we are configuring, it will come to already first do uh, fault domain one is finished, right? So it will come to second fault domain. and it will come to the update domain, second update domain. Then next thing is that next virtual machine, if we are creating third virtual machine, it will come to third fault domain and third update domain. Maybe this will interchange each other, okay? Then if, we are, if I am going to create fourth virtual machine, already three fault domains we have, it is full. First one is connected here, second one is here, third one. Then again, the next virtual machine it will come to fault domain one again because we don't have any fourth fault domain availability set will not support um, about three fault domains then if i will create fifth virtual machine it will come to next fault domain again and next update domain again like that it will go so if power failure is happening for the first server rack thing is that virtual machine one and virtual machine four it will not work but the thing is that our application it will be available because already it is running on fault domain two fault domain three next thing if an uh, virtual machine one is going to update then also our application will be available because you know in other areas already our virtual machines are there if the update domain totally in this area is going to um, update that means vm1 and vm4 is going to update then also we will get another virtual machine will be available. There should be no issue with our service. Right now we can go to 
our practical session i'm going to my home session first thing we need to create an availability set here already i searched availability set that's why in the recent services you can see this one anyway i am going to search availability sets it's coming i don't have any availability set right now i am going to create this one create okay subscription i already have subscription as your subscription one resource group i already have one resource group rs1 if you want you can create new resource group also then for the availability set i will give name as av av s1 availability set one i am giving region wherever we want we can create a region in south india if we are going i have two fault domains only the i will go to if we want we can go to east us it should have three mm, yeah three fault domains it will support if you want you can change okay update domain some so you can change right now i have planned to create two fault domains only update domains i will create two only that's only just click review plus create it will create our availability set right now we have an availability set now validation passed now we created an availability set next thing is that we will add the we will add our virtual machines into this availability set first uh, uh, we will go to resource then uh, we will see what is happened in this availability set this is the availability set from the overview we can see which subscription is there how many fault domain is there how many update domain is there right now two two we created right and there is no virtual machine is added into this availability set now i am going to create one virtual machine so i will go to home then i have plan to create a virtual machine i will search virtual machine we i got it yeah now i'm going to create a virtual machine now as your subscription i am giving the resource group as resource group rs1 virtual machine name i am giving vm1 and the region i will give the same region east us here this is the thing availability option i will give availability set so i need to select our availability set availability set 1 avs1 i am selecting if we want we can create also availability set from here only you can give a name then you can select how many fault domain you need how many update domain you need then you can select okay mm, the windows server i am selecting windows server 2016 data center if you want you can change this one then i am going to say selection i need a less size only yeah this is a less size only what in virtual cpu yeah so selected one then i will give a username and password for my virtual machine then for time we need to select i'm giving review plus create right now our first virtual machine it is going to create validation failed recurring information is missing 
Yeah, validation positive. Now I am going to create this virtual machine. It is deploying. At the same time, I will create another virtual machine. Second virtual machine to the availability set. I am going to create virtual machine. Same steps we are going to do. Resource group I am giving RS1. Virtual machine name I will give to VM2. Region I will select as East US. Um, then availability options I will select as availability set and this, uh, we will select our availability set AVS1. So the second virtual machine is also coming to the same availability set, availability set one. And sizing is one virtual CPU. For the login details, for login into my virtual machine, username I will give and password also I'm going to give. We we'll select the row that you can select based on your own requirement. Maybe press create. Validation failed. Moment. And then we'll compose basics. Is any error message showing? No error message. Then I will give review plus create. Pending fine with your validation password. I'm going to create this virtual machine. And we, we want to know what happened to our first virtual machine. From here. Yeah, first virtual machine is created already here. So if I will go to home, I will come to my old resources. What are the resources right now? I have. Yeah, first virtual machine is already ready for me. Okay, then second virtual machine, it should be, it is deploying only. It is progressing now. Guys, please subscribe my channel for the next video. In the next video, we will cover availability zones then scale set load balancer everything one by one we will cover you will get the complete practical classes from this And now we can go to our availability set what happened here. Change our question mission to availability set. This is our availability set. We are deployment success the second one. Here you can see in our availability set, this virtual machine self came. You know, first virtual machine, this came to fault domain zero, update domain zero. The next one is came to fault domain one, then update domain one. Like this, it will happen. So we are going to finish today's topic. And by default, just think that you have three fault domains and five update domains, it will come. But the thing is that maximum number of fault domain it will support is three only. But for update domain maximum is 20. And one more thing I will show you. If you are going, to, if you already created one virtual machine, you want to add that virtual machine into an existing availability set. It will not possible. Azure will not support that option. I will show. 
I will, I'm going to create one virtual machine now. Create, create a virtual machine. Here subscription source group already. I will select this RS1 and virtual machine name VM3. I am giving region. I am giving just South India. Uh, otherwise, I will give for the Assam because we already have one availability set right east us availability options right now i am not selecting any availability options okay everything is default so We first create I'm going to create now virtual machine three third one this initializing submitting deployment in progress Virtual machine three is created now. We'll okay. I'll go to virtual machines. Wait, it will come. Refresh. Yeah, this is our virtual machine. Here we can go whether availability set it is there or not, whether we can configure or not. Here I'm coming to availability, you know. Here you have no option to add any fault domain, any update domain, nothing. Okay. Right now I'm thinking that you go to everything regarding availability set, fault domain, update domain. Next topic, we will cover availability zones with the availability options. Thank you, guys.